Hello and welcome all, Invisible is here with you and uh, this video I should have uploaded since a year ago this uh, basically will be a video response to Scalgrim's uh, videos about the more realistic sword fighting in video games now if you don't know who Scalgrim is basically he is this guy uh, all what I know about him is that he is a weapons collector. He likes to uh, collect uh, swords and uh, guns of different types as a hobby. He reviews them and I am one of his fans because, well, basically he collects some stuff that I care about, which are blades, swords, and reviews uh, them as he gets them. Something very well known about this uh, man is that he has more preference to medieval European uh, blades and uh, he doesn't really like the katanas which made some problems with him with his fans and such. Anyway, let's go back to the main object of this video. Although many of you already know that I quit uploading and such, I have to upload this video since I promised him I would do this. So basically, he uploaded a video to YouTube. In this video, he explained about this game and why it has more realistic sword fighting than any other games with more insane... Uh, sword designs, gameplay, and stuff. This guy likes more the realism in the sword uh, fighting and sword designs because, uh, you know, he likes to collect this stuff and he doesn't like the oversized, overpowered, etc. stuff. Anyway, so he spoke about this game, Poshido Blade, for the PlayStation 1. I got the game on the emulator and played it for myself. You could say that this video is not only going to be a response to his own video, but as well some kind of a review as well to the game itself. Uh, basically this game is about sword fighting using uh, real life uh, swords from naganatas to katanas to reapers etc. So uh, a number of good uh, weapons. My favorites are the katana, the broad sword, the naganata, and most of the range, uh, far ranged uh, weapons. So what is this game exactly about? You have a number of assassins in this game and the story goes about them, how they make their uh, living from killing, and how their master betrayed them. So, basically, each uh, time you select a character, you have the game uh, with two difficulties, easy and hard. There is no normal, I believe. Um, when you play, you will choose one of the assassins, and alongside uh, the game basically what you have to do is you choose uh, a player you choose a weapon and instantly the fight begins before the fight starts your opponent will give you some kind of a comment some of them will talk some of them will do some stuff other stuff etc now this game has a little bit of a rule when you fight, you can always shut your opponent up and begin swinging your sword with one of the three stances. You can see all the uh, full review for the game itself in uh, Scaligrim's uh, video himself. Because I'm right now going to earn this as fast as I can. Um, this game forces you to respect the rule of the Bushido fighting, which is the samurai fighting. Um, first and foremost, you cannot attack your opponent while they talk. You cannot attack your opponent if they are 
running away from you you cannot take uh, attack your opponent when they are on the ground and you can never attack your opponent with ranged secondary weapons such as knives shurikens and such so in short you must respect your opponent's coward nature and you must fight them face to face with honor if you happen to attack your opponent while any of the previous conditions are in touch you will instantly lose the only chance you have to gain the actual ending when you play the game on the easy mode um, you can get the original ending there are two endings in the game which to gain them you must fight with the Bushido rule and you must uh, not get hit even once literally and in this game if you think that a game for PlayStation 1 will be easy you are literally wrong I spent on this game about two months until I finished it it's a catastrophe this game I dare to say it's the black the dark souls of the PlayStation 1 because it's a massacre your opponents can easily finish you in one hit if you do not calculate your movement right uh, any scratch on your character will be viewed as a wound and will have bandages all over it um, I'm not uh, showing you the video of Skullgrim because I don't want to get copyrighted for the game and for, uh, from the YouTuber himself even though uh, I'm doing this for him not for myself at all so I'll just have to ask you to bear with me on this uh, logo for the meantime when you are uh, fighting up to I believe maybe 3 to 5 hits your character will uh, start to have uh, some kind of wounds and bondages around the eye, on the neck, on the around the torso and such. The game is quite nice. However, it has its limits and its outrageous insanity as well. After beating a number of enemies, you will be faced with a blind bastard. That uh, guy will attack you with a pistol. You need to stay away from him and attack him with one attack at the very least the problem is the, with this uh, guy is that he likes so much to run away he likes so much to uh, just be a coward which means you need to nitpick your chance away from him literally like when he is running away from you if you attack him you instantly lose and he will become your last fight if you are able to beat him without breaking the rule of the Bushido you will be able to continue on the game now about the index if you break the Bushido blade uh, rules about the honor and the karma from the very maybe first or second fight instantly you will have an ending which will be a text on the screen this text means you are not worthy of playing the game itself. So pack your bags and get the hell out of the game. That's in short the whole message you will get. Now if you can make it that you get injured a little bit on the easy mode or the, even the hard mode and you finish the game and defeat the boss with your Poshido rules intact you will be able to witness the first CGI animated ending there is no real much story about the game itself because each character will have its own standalone story and each uh, time you finish it the ending will be different than the other you are not here to see, seek the background of the character you are only here to fulfill your destiny as a sword fighter and that's pretty much it really the story doesn't have any depth at all to it the, the fight once it begins you are free to choose one of the three stances 
the high stance, the medium stance, and the lower stance. Each stance has its own unique fighting uh, strikes and such. So, so much of them can finish your opponent in one hit, as well as your opponent can finish you in one hit if you're not careful enough, which happened with me countless times. Because some enemies with short-ranged uh, weapons can finish you without a second thought at all. Now, I told you that there are the Bushido rules, which using it, you cannot fight like a coward. The problem is with this, your opponents can fight you without respecting those rules. Because simply the AI doesn't have to stay true to the rules of the Bushido. Uh, if you want more detailed uh, explain, go to the wiki for the game. It's very interesting. The game is very short. The second ending you get if you, um, in the very first stage, you do not have to attack instantly your enemy. You hold, I believe, one of the buttons, maybe the R and L1 buttons together to make your character to escape from the battle. According to the size of your uh, weapon, your strength will either be fast or be slow. But something I uh, noticed was one of the characters was uniquely slow when you reach a specific place. And the way the game forces you and two red lines beneath that word, the game will force you forcefully, no option, to go through the whole goddamn map about five to six times, um, one after another, in order to reach a certain point, which your character normally would run through it automatically once you finish off the first enemy. Um, once you reach this place, you'll have to manipulate a little bit the controller to force your character to jump into a specific area. Once you reach that area, you will have to force to face your first uh, opponent if you did not uh, fight him first, and you will have to defeat him inside, inside that place. Once you do that, you will be facing, after the final uh, boss, a new uh, boss fight. In that boss fight, throughout the way towards that uh, fight, you must not be touched at all. If one, for once you were uh, touched by your enemy, even for a scratch, you instantly lose your right to gain the second and the true actual uh, ending, the CGI second ending. Uh, overall, the game from its fighting style is uh, quite unique, interesting. Um, from the endings and the CG, it's worthless. From the realism and such, it is quite realistic to the point where you can literally finish the fight before it's be it begins. You can drag it on along the way with you. There are some glitches and bugs. There are some times the AI is really disgustingly annoying. And basically, you do not uh, create any deep bounds with the characters at all. Because uh, most of the characters are simply worthless. Um, the characters right now before you are three of the I believe main cast. Once you finish the game uh, with all the CGI uh, endings, which are basically the main and the only reason for you to ever play the game at all on the emulator, you will have the endless um, style gameplay where you will have to fight 100 enemies one after another without getting scratched, with the same weapon, without your health getting replenished, and on the hardest difficulty, because simply once you finish all of them without any breaks at all or pauses in the game, you will be able to at last unlock the blonde assassin who chooses a gun instead of a blade or anything of that kind, and guess what, you cannot enter his own story mode. You'll only be able to play as him in the 
practice or versus mood overall the game is quite realistic the characters are plain and simple simple minded but what do you, do you expect from a PlayStation 1 game anyway um, I just want to make sure that the Bushido rule is an actual thing that's why I'm making this video to begin with it the Bushido rule is you must fight with honor you must not be a coward when you fight the, your enemy you must wait for them until they are ready to fight you you must not uh, chase them you must not fight them when they are down you must uh, kill them quickly, you must not be scratched or touched at all and your enemy doesn't have to do any of that at all that's the way of the Bushido yeah, figures anyway, for myself as I played the experience on the emulator I'd give this game out of 5 uh, about 1.9 out of 5 if you play it, play it just for the hell of it, for fun, just wasting time. Don't play it seriously. Do not get invested too much into it. If you are here just for the CGI, you better just either search for them on the internet. If you do not find them, which was the problem with myself, then play the game. Bear with it until you finish all the CGI. Record them all using screen capture card or a screen recorder and then destroy the game because it's not worth playing sorry but that's the truth although it's a great game it's not worth playing not your time at all I played the game finished it only once then never returned to it because it's just that um, worthless for myself at least if you like the game it's really up to you if you don't like it, it's up to you. For myself, I didn't like it that much. Especially after I got all what I want from it. That's all for now. Thanks all for watching. And thank you, Skaldgrim, if you took some time to watch this video. That's all. Invisible with you, sign out.